Hello. You might want to use GeoGebra to make a 9-pin geoboard that you can then draw on on your whiteboard. To do this, uh, you need to open GeoGebra on your machine. When you do that, it will look like the screen you have here. What you then need to do is close the algebra window by clicking there and just above this drawing window there's three possibilities show or hide the axes let's hide the axes so we now have a completely blank screen to draw a nine pin circular geoboard let's first construct a regular polygon uh, we need a regular polygon with nine sides putting in two change the four which comes automatically to the nine and press OK. That gives me a 9-pin regular polygon. Now I want those nine points to be round a circle, so I need to construct a circle round those nine points. The easiest way is to draw a perpendicular from one point to the opposite side and from one of the other points to the opposite side. Where those two points meet, will be the centre. So if I highlight those two there, where they meet, that gives me the centre. I now want to draw a circle, so press on that, and then on out to there, and I have constructed the circle. Unfortunately now, I have rather more than I want, all the constructions are there. So if we go to the last pull-down menu, I can show or hide the object. Uh, we don't want to delete them, we want to hide them. Hide that construction line, that construction line, and that polygon. If we do that, then we have hidden all the construction points, and we now have a 9-pin circular geoboard. At this point, the best thing to do is to save it. If you press save, um, it can, I can put a uh, nine pin, pin board, and I need to call that GGB. And it's a good idea to save it in whatever file you want. I'm saving it in my file there, and just do it. Uh, yes, I had already done this. So I now have a nine pin board and that is saved. I can at any time now draw one of the uh, figures on it using segment between two points. This segment from there to there and from there to there and from there to there. Oh, if I've done the wrong one, it doesn't matter. Go to the top right hand corner and press the yellow button, or if I want it back, the green one. So I can always undo the last one and undo the one before. So if I want that, and now still on segment, I can draw in that triangle. Later on, I might wish to draw in the line to the center, and I can easily draw that too. And if you then have this uh, available to you on your whiteboard, and I can undo that in order and get all of that. There is another tool that you might find enormously useful, which is the polygon tool. So, for instance, if I start to draw a polygon from that point, skipping one of the pins, and then skipping one, skipping one, skipping one, and going round, you could not do this with a piece of elastic. I now have that polygon. Move back to the pointer tool. 
Maybe you don't want that polygon to be brown and like that. So if you double click in the polygon, that polygon, and I can go for the object properties. The second polygon is the one we've got. The first one was the regular nine-sided one. The color, I could make that color black, and I can make it uh, more filled in or less filled in. And if you go back to the other ones, you can explore what you can do. You can make the lines thicker, or you can do different line styles if you want it. And basically, um, you can show the object or not show the object. So you can play around on the preferences there until you have what you want. If at the end of this time we now press the red button to close it, do you want to save the changes? The answer is don't save because if you press don't save you will still have on your file the original 9-pin board. So don't save and then you will go back for the next time you won't need to reconstruct the board.